This is officially the coolest thing I've ever seen. Imagine an artificial intelligence taking an idea from you and turning it into incredible art that's never been seen before. Hi, my name is Alex and what sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie just became reality. Since I've started this how to make NFT series, I've found a lot of great and easy ways to create NFTs, but this website, code or algorithm or whatever it is, changes everything. So if you're interested in the NFT and crypto space, you probably are pretty tech savvy. You might even at some point ask yourself if you live in a simulation and if the whole world around you is just a bunch of code. Technology is exponentially growing and improving. So the the thought that technology can create a piece of art doesn't sound too far-fetched. But you know what also grows exponentially? The views under this video if you hit the like button below for the YouTube algorithm to help me and my channel out. Thank you. So what is this magical AI that blows my mind so much? So the other day I got a video recommended by the AI Whisperer that showed a Google Collab file of a code that creates a piece of art by combining pixels in more or less random ways. You don't need any knowledge in coding or graphic design or something like that. All you need to do is to go on that site. The link for the website is down in the description, of course. And once you're on the site, first of all, you thank Catherine Crozen for being a, a goat. <laughs> she's amazing. She wrote the initial script that probably got more and more refined over the following months, but she's our base brain. Underneath, you see a bunch of steps you need to take that will take a few minutes. And depending on your GPU, it's quicker or slower. But anyways, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just click the play button on the first step and wait a little bit until you see a green check mark appear next to the play button. After that check mark appeared, just click on one of the listed models underneath and I would suggest trying all of them out for once to see which one is your favorite and then just start the next step by clicking on the play button. This will also take a while until that green check mark appears, but then we're almost at the juicy part. So just hit the play button on step three and let's go to the neural engine. And here's where it gets scary and incredible because all you now have to do is to give the neural engine a phrase or a theme for the artwork. Just type in a topic or a phrase here where it says text. Put in height and width, but I think 475 times 475 here works the best. Then put it in interval image number. The higher the interval image number is, the more detailed the artwork will be. But you'll see that a fairly low number will already generate amazing results. After you put everything in there, just hit the play button on step four and let it run. And then you only have step five left, which then generates your final image. Okay, so at first you'll just have some random noisy images, but the longer you let it run, the more detailed and amazing your artwork will be. This image, for example, ran for 2000 air volts, and look how insane that looks. Isn't that great? I think all I put in was digital world or something, and this is what it came up with. How amazing is that? This took me about an hour, and as I said, the longer you let it run, the more details will appear. After you're happy, you can just save the image to your computer, and you're good to go. Now, this is not a way to generate a collection of 10,000 NFTs, because that would take forever, but if you want to generate digital art without any design work on your end, this will be the perfect solution for you. This is also only a compressed image, so you don't have the individual layers that would let you generate more versions of your image, but for a small collection or a single image project, this would probably be amazing. Have you ever made digital art yourself, or did you ever try drawing on something like an iPad or a computer? Let me know in the comments down below, because I would love to see how many artists I have in my community. <laughs> if you like NFT content and you want to learn how to make a simple 3D NFT inside of Adobe Illustrator, check out this video up here where I explain it to you. And if you want to learn about the website that lets you generate big NFT collections in a matter of seconds, just check out this video down here. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to have the chance to win one Ethereum as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel. And I got a feeling that we'll probably hit that goal in the next 10 days. So be quick. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Alex. Stay smart, stay safe, and I'll see you next Wednesday.